Hello fellow ant keepers and in England, land of blighty, jaffa cakes and tea drinking. We have recently had nuptial flights for the genus Laceus, and I'm going to show you my catches. Starting off with Laceus niger, which I already have a largish colony of, so I decided to do an, an experiment. Experiment. Laceus niger is well known to be monogeny. No. It's monage nine. No, it's monage <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Or having a single queen in one colony. However, I have heard if you put multiple Niger queens in the fridge briefly, they can manage to found a polygynous colony. I originally put four queens in the test tube, but one died. I also added sand. They have had trouble raising eggs, so I'm just gonna leave them alone for a while and update you on any progress. Now, Laceus Flavus. They actually flew at the exact same time as Niger, which was pretty cool. I found six, which I set up in dual queen colonies. Shortly after catching them, I was moving around bricks. I found some Laceus Flavus brood under the bricks and collected some. I brood boosted all the queens, which went incredibly well. They all have between 10 to 20 workers, and in this colony you can see a huge brood pile. Oh hell yeah, it's side note time. T -t time for the side notes? It is side, side note time. I haven't actually been able to recatch the Chromatogaster scutellaris colony, as I haven't seen them in my room for a couple of days now. Them being gone does mean that I have space for another colony. Final side note. Kittens. 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 Kittens.